I have but one life regret. That I didn't get Halo Infinite before November 22nd. I could have gotten the I Love Bees emblem. I could have gotten that, but I didn't. Damn it. How could past me be so blind? No time for crying, though, because it's gamer time. Those of you who don't know, recently I have joined an esports team. Actually, a, a little while ago now. Uh, it, it's, been, it's been a few months. Not very recent. Still, I've joined an esports team for my high school. Um, technically, I'm the captain of the team, um, which honestly just means I'm the main communicator in the team um, between other teams when we have our games and in game when we are having having our little session we're all grooving together i thought it would be fun even though i just me to explain and show off the things that i've learned while playing halo keep in mind i am in no way saying in any shape or form that i am good at the game i'm not saying that i am the best on my team just because i'm the captain because god no i am not i am not um but it's in general it's been fun so because this is such a big part of my life now i thought it would be cool to share it with all of you anyway <laughs> Incoming. I was going to do this in a normal fashion, but I decided it better to go over myself and talk about the things I feel like I did right and I did wrong here. I was actually really surprised to find out that I could jump to this area. This was the first time I had ever done so. One of the first things I do wrong is I lose myself that vantage point in order to melee someone, which by the way, you should have trust in your teammates that they could finish something off, especially in that sort of case. I also then backwarded myself into a grenade, which you don't do. You never go backwards in a response. It's tempting to. You always want to move back when someone is advancing on you. But when you do so, especially when someone has your grenade, it's just you're just gonna do yourself more harm than good. Another bad habit of mine is meleeing when I don't need to melee. I could have easily taken that person down from that platform and then just jump back up to avoid that death. But, you know, I'm not perfect at this game. I stopped to grab the, the grapple hooks because I really like them and then I uh, end up facing someone who has the halo sword, which if you don't know, you don't want to get near those things, so I try to keep a good distance, which I do a good job of, and then I take him out, grab the energy sword, and the first thing I think to do is to go and destroy the person who I saw kind of vibing up top. Of course, by now they're already gone. I don't know that though, and you get to witness as I almost behead one of my own teammates. Not, not my proudest moment. All dropped. Something with the Halo sword to keep in mind is that while it, it can be insanely overpowered, you have to remember to keep the short corners. You need the element of surprise if you're gonna have the Halo sword. Because if you keep too much in the open and you give them the opportunity to keep that distance, then you're just endangering yourself. As fun as it is, you also don't need it for everything. I kind of just watched myself waste one of my charges of the energy sword, which I didn't need to do, by the way. I'm gonna kind of make it up here though. Um, I take one down, wait over for the other person to come out, because I don't think take out another one and then take the ball. At that moment, I see another, like, one or two people. <laughs> But uh, I'm also stuck not knowing between whether there was two there or not, so I can start panicking. I decided to let the teammates deal with that person because I have a really bad habit of trying to go in for an unnecessary melee when I really don't need to. I think it's this moment that really helps me to 
keep and take this round, although I did just make a huge mistake then. You'll, you'll notice that I throw out bombs at a bit of a random, and this isn't always bad, but when you're playing in ranked, you have the opportunity to hurt your own teammates, which you don't want to do. Gosh, you do not want to accidentally bomb your own teammates. But we got the first round, and now the way we take the second round is a little bit similar. I really wanted to use the active camo because I hadn't gotten to use it much in the last few rounds. My goal with the active camo is to try and get someone from behind, but I don't do this. I think I see someone and my first thought is, okay, can I just... First thing I want to do is just kind of instantly go for some random hit. I'm gonna be honest, it says that I got killed by a gun there, but I'm not 100% sure how. I think maybe it was one of my own teammates by accident. Which happens. I see someone go over there, so I threw a grenade to see if they double back. My favorite spot is that little windows section you just saw me jump from. So I, you, you'll find me using that a lot. And I'm not afraid to out melee someone with a halo sword, so that's what you watch me do. Not always a smart decision, but I also know that you can't just spam meleeing with the halo, halo, halo sword? Mm, lovely. You can't spam melee with a halo sword. So the moment I saw them take that swing and miss, I knew that was my opportunity. I also didn't pick up the ball at that moment because I had the sword and I felt like I would be a better use to my team as... There we go. I felt like I'd be a better use to my team as someone defending the carrier of the ball. I almost missed the person who's up there and then they just decide to jump down, which wasn't really smart on their end. I also then see someone else and I decide to hop up because when everyone starts to cloud together you don't want to just blindly swing around. As you saw, I did that in the first game. I blindly started to melee and that's not what you want to do. I think there was a bit of lag in that moment. I tend to have... I have two different computers that I play on. On my official games, I play, on, I play at school and that has much better internet. When I was playing at my computer here, there was there was a bit of technical difficulty. At this point, my Halo sword is kind of finished, and all I can really do is wait it out. We had 10 more seconds about with it, and I figured, you know what, I had three people there, so I was just gonna advance in and take that last kill, and that's sort of how we... Well, it's not how we win the game, but it's definitely a good contributor to us winning the game. I think I ended up by the end dying three times and I got 16 kills, which was pretty good. I was proud of this game. There is Capture the Flag, there is Slayer, and there's Oddball. What you just witnessed was me playing Oddball, which I did a lot better than I thought I would. Anyway, that is kind of the resulting of that game. Definitely didn't save my gold rank. I may have had a very unlucky last few games. That has not been a pop. Anyway, if you enjoyed me sitting here nerding out about Halo Infinite and talking about the talking about different strategies and stuff like that, please let me know. And I had fun. I had fun, and I hope you had fun. If you want to see me play other games that are kind of similar to this, probably click here. But anyway, that's all I've got to say, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!